Alrighty, so this is what we got going on today. We are doing some more carpet. So let's turn around and see what's going on. Uh, mentioned here a while back recently in a video that I was going to start speeding the process up. Quit doing a whole bunch of free labor and stuff on jobs. Not stuff that's going to cause lower quality. Just stuff to help myself out, speed the process up so I can make better money, okay? So let's get into it and I'll show you a little bit of what's going on. Okay, so only places that actually need the tax strip torn up and replaced definitely around the door jams and such like that you can see is definitely way too far right there any places that is too far i'll take care of i'll drop some extra tax strip in the corners like that just pretty much touch up the tax strip job but for the most part i'll just run around the walls with my staple gun and secure everything up all of this stuff you know I'll bring my corners on out. I'll take this up and bring my corners on out and drop some. Probably just take this whole little wall up right there and put brand new pieces there. Uh, fill in all this stuff, which you can see there. That needs to come out. But anywhere that needs to come out, I'll come out wherever else. I'm going to leave it and just strengthen it up and go to town. Alrighty, I've got the doorway seam done, fixing to, I went ahead and tucked it as I made my seam since I used the cool glide system. Got this seam right here done, got that seam right there done. Now we're fixing to make our stretches, get this bad boy stretched in. Uh, I'll show you what I did with the tack strap, just to fill the little voids you can see there for the corner piece. Uh, all the doorways got completely new strip. And such, you can see how I just put a little piece in there simply just for the uh, shaping of the carpet. Obviously, that's not got any big enough for any tacks or anything like that, but just to keep the shape of the carpet as it goes into the corner so it's not falling down in there. All this stuff over here, I completely replaced anything that was entirely way too far. Again, everything around the doorways, this whole hallway completely taped go ahead and got the steps up the bull nose for the waterfall step is taped on the ridge it's always a must to keep the pad from breaking down and wearing out and because this is moisture barrier and they did buy it because of a moisture barrier i got every little place where we cut the pad a little bit we got it all sealed back up with tape so not going to be an issue with that anyway let's get this carpet started let's get this carpet started right Okay, what I did here, tied this off, tied this little bit right here off, stretch back here with the needles, tied it off, and 
my first few stretches, you can see, boom, 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 boom. Obviously my tail piece is here, stretched at an angle that way, and then switched over that way, stopped right there, tied, stretched and tied all this wall up. Came from here, directly over there where he just put the stair tool in his front pocket, right here at an angle, stretched this way, tied all this off, came back here at an angle that way, stretch, stretch, stretch right there. Now I'm done, fixing to make this seam, then I'll finish stretching, doop, 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 be done with this room. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. We got this thing all wrapped up. Wasn't too bad, we had to make two daggum trips to town today. We got a late start, I had my van in the shop this morning, so. I, was, I had to go pick my van up, then come all the way back to my house to grab my carpet tools and then go all the way back to the carpet store and load up with carpet and stuff and then come back out here to this job, which is outside of town, tax strip and pad it, and then go back to get my carpet because I had to do my measuring when I was here, so... And, and then once I got here, I was like, oh my goodness, I rubbed this piece right here out. And I was like, oh my goodness, I forgot to get this fill piece. So I got all, I got that fill piece, I got the hallway, and I got the closet, and I forgot that. So as soon as I got here and rolled the carpet up, I had to run back. Oh my goodness, no wonder you don't get nothing done, you crazy. You spend all your time burning up the roads and keeping the roads hot. Get it together for the love of Pete. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the daily vlog. We really appreciate it here at the FBSB. Until tomorrow, check you later. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. FBSB's out.